Hey everyone, this is David Brown from Lycobirds, and today is February 28th, 2022, which means tomorrow is the start of the spring hawk watching season. This will be my fourth year as the counter at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch in Rochester, New York. For those of you who aren't familiar with hawk watching, basically it's going to the same place every day and keeping a track of the migrating raptors, so hawks, eagles, falcons, vultures. I stand on a platform, I look at the sky all day with binoculars and count how many of each kind of those birds migrates over. And Braddock Bay is a great place to count migrating birds because it's right on the edge of Lake Ontario. So with the raptors, you have them flying north, they hit the lake, they don't want to cross the water, and they're following the shoreline until they can get around the lake. So over the course of the three-month season, March, April, May, we get somewhere in the ballpark of an average of 60,000 raptors, and in a good year, it could be upwards of 100,000. The count is organized by a nonprofit organization called Braddock Bay Raptor Research, and I'm hired by them to count the migrating hawks every day. But I should say I'm not an employee of BBRR, and I do not speak for that organization, so any thoughts or ideas that I share are strictly my own. The count is open to the public. It's done from public parks. So the main spot is Braddock Bay Park. And then we have one alternate site, which is a park about a mile inland called Frisbee Hill Park, which is when the wind is coming off the lake. Sometimes we move there because the birds get pushed inland a little bit. The count is conducted every single day in March, April, and May, unless there would be moderate to heavy rain all day or other conditions where the raptors won't be able to fly or migrate. I plan to make videos as the season progresses, giving updates and as well as making predictions for the upcoming flight. So if you can join us in person, that would be great. I hope you can make it out. But if not, you can follow along on this season and this journey virtually through these YouTube videos. I've already had some decent luck for early spring migration, just watching the skies over my hometown in north central Pennsylvania. Even had a rough-legged hawk recently. And then last night, my brother Bobby, who also makes videos for this channel, of course, he said he looked out the front window and said, oh, there's, there's a big bird coming over. So I ran outside, and he followed me, and we looked up, and it was a beautiful golden eagle. So that's always a good sign when you have golden eagles flying right over your house, and hopefully that's a sign that it will be a good spring migration. Today at noon, I left my hometown and drove the three hours up here to Rochester, New York, where I'm settled into my apartment and all ready for the count to begin. But the first thing I did today was stop at the Braddock Bay Hawk Watch just to make sure that the parking lot was clear and the platform was okay, just so there's no surprises tomorrow. But I had some nice bird surprises. So here's the Hawkwatch platform. This is where I spend many, many, many hours. And anyone can come out here and get a good look over Braddock Bay. This photo was taken from on top of the platform. And you can see the ground is pretty much covered in snow. And most of the bay is frozen. I didn't spend that much time looking at birds because I was mainly there just to check out the, the situation. But I did see a rough-legged hawk flying around as well as a northern harrier. But just as I had gotten back in my car, and actually I had started the car already, getting ready to leave, I saw a big white bird flying across, and I thought it might be a glaucus gull. And so I was, I was excited because that's uh, a bird I don't see too often, and it seemed like a reasonable thing that would be here. But actually, when I took a look at it, and saw it start to interact with the rough-legged hawk, I realized it was a snowy owl. Here you can see the rough-legged hawk on the left and a nice silhouette of the snowy owl on the right. These shots are all pretty distant, but even uh, at this quality, you can see some of the patterning on the top side of the snowy owl. And actually, I had someone from this area mention to me that there has been a snowy owl hanging around, but like I said earlier, this is my fourth season, and actually I've never had a snowy owl here at Braddock Bay. Um, I know in the big eruption years, they had as many as five or six at one time on the ice. But the past couple years, they just haven't been around during the hawk watch season. So I was really happy to finally get one as a hotspot bird. 
just another look at the snowy owl as it's going across. And this might actually be the first time I've seen a snowy owl in flight. I was trying to remember if I've ever seen that before. And finally, the owl actually landed on the ice. And as soon as I saw it land, I was confident, okay, this is not a gull. This is a snowy owl. So I got my scope out and uh, watched it for a minute or two. All right, and let's take a quick look at windy.com. These are the winds for tomorrow, March 1st at 9 a.m. And you can see up here in the Braddock Bay area, these are perfect winds, nice warm southwest winds. So that would normally be really good for a hawk flight. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be kind of cloudy and maybe dreary possibility of rain. So that might interfere with things. But I think tomorrow should be a good day overall. Should definitely be some songbirds migrating overnight. Maybe there will be uh, things like blackbirds migrating, as well as gulls, maybe even geese and swans. So we'll have to see uh, what shows up tomorrow, but I would assume that we'll see at least a few migrating hawks as well. All right, I hope you're all as excited for this journey as I am, and I hope you follow along with these videos as we go through the spring 2022 migration season. From Rochester, New York, and Lyco Birds, this is David Brown. Thanks for watching.